In this video, we are going to be installing Node.js for Windows. Now, this will work with Windows 7 and above. So we're currently on Windows 11, and this should probably work for future versions as well. Now, as you can see here, we have this page. Now, to get to this page, there's a link down below in the description, or you can go to nodejs.org, and it will bring you here. Once you are here, you can simply just click download node.js LTS and now download an MSI installer. Now, while that's downloading, I'm just going to explain that you can download a different version. Currently, we're downloading version 22.14.0, which is their long term support. Long term support means this will be supported for a long time. It's, it's, it's pretty explanatory self-explanatory but you can download a different version if you wish or you can download a newer version the latest version of 23.9 if you want to this may these numbers may be different when you come to install this depending on when you uh, actually install these but now that should be done you should see this is now done and we can open this up so you can see we have this installer right here now i can just double click this and it's going to open up the node.js setup wizard and now that it's open all we can do is says welcome to the node.js setup wizard the setup wizard will install node.js on your computer so let's just hit next and now we just have to agree to the license you can read through it if you want to i'm just going to hit next again now you can actually select where you install your nodes to now if you want to change this location you can can. However, I'm just going to keep it in our program files there and hit next. Now, as you'll see here, this will install no the Node.js runtime, the core pack manager, um, and npm package manager. Now, this is one of the important ones you definitely want to install as well. Is the npm package manager, as this is what you will use to install other packages when using Node application. Another thing you want to know is add to path. You definitely want to leave this on because add to path will add it to your paths. So you can call it inside of your terminal by just running Node, and this will actually uh, basically run the Node.js program. So let's hit next and here it's going to ask us if we want to in, uh, install some necessary tools um, and this will include as you can see it says it includes python and visual studio builds tools as well as it will also install chocolate so i'm just going to tick this and click next and then here it just says click install to begin the installation perfect hit install and let this run all the way through and there you go completed the node.js setup wizard click finish to complete it now, because we selected the extra tools, the necessary tools, it's going to ask us to install this. Uh, and I'm just going to hit enter and enter to allow this to basically start installing the thing. It's going to ask us if uh, for, to make changes to our computer and I'm just going to hit yes. But while this is installing the extra package, we can actually test our node installation. To do that, uh, I'm going to press Windows S to bring up my search and just search terminal. Uh, and I'm just going to hit enter. You can also use the command prompt as well, command prompt as well to test this, or even PowerShell. Um, I'm just going to use the terminal because it's basically Windows PowerShell. Uh, and to test this, all we do is type Node and hit enter, and that is going to load up Node. And as you can see, it says version 22.14.0, which is the one we installed. So to test this, we could just run something simple like console.log, and we're just going to console.log hello world. Um, and just hit enter and as you can see it says hello world in the console and also undefined uh, and there you go you can see that is working um, we can press Control c to exit out of this and that is that installed okay guys so as you can see here it looks like it has completed adding everything we need um, it says here package requiring reboot is uh, well, there's a package here that needs you to reboot your uh, PC, uh, which is fine. But for now, we're just going to hit enter and that, oh, type enter. Oh, type enter. Interesting. I thought it would just hit enter. Type enter and that has quit and that is all done. And that is everything you need to do to install Node.js and NPM Package Manager to your PC. Now you can actually get started building with JavaScript. That'll be it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. Now, guys, if you want to support this channel, you can by heading down below to the link through Patreon and become a member of the Patreon community where you can get different benefits. Uh, there's different tiers. So you can have a look at those and they list all the benefits you get. So, guys, thank you for tuning in for this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.